This video is intended to provide detailed instructions on the proper procedures to follow when making lab line mechanical joints. For complete technical information on all IPEX acid waste piping systems, please refer to Volume 3 Acid Waste Piping Systems Technical Manual available through your IPEX representative or online at IPEXNA.com in our technical library. To ensure professional installation, make sure all installers have undergone training by IPEX in the correct handling, joining, and installation methods of IPEX thermoplastic products. Points to remember. The new yellow elastic olive does not require preheating. The pipe end should be clean and there should be no deep longitudinal grooves in it. It is desirable to use a chain vise to hold 3 inch and 4 inch pipe firmly during cutting and grooving operations. When grooving 3 inch and 4 inch pipe, a strap wrench should be used to hold the pipe to prevent its rotation while the groove is being cut. After grooving, the pipe should be kept clean so that foreign material is not introduced into the groove. The cutting blade should always be fully retracted whenever the tool is put on or taken off the pipe. If any resistance is felt when putting the tool onto the pipe or taking it off, the blade position should be checked. Each nut must be fully tightened as the installation progresses. Do not assemble the system loosely and tighten nuts last, as layout length errors will go undiscovered until such time as the nuts are finally tightened. Avoid misalignment. Ensure the grooving tool has a sharp blade to make a clean shouldered groove. Check for all parts. Each fitting is supplied with the correct number of elastic olives and locking nuts. Verify the grooving tool is sharp. Cut the pipe to the desired length using a tubing cutter fitted with a wheel designed for plastic pipe. A handsaw and miter box may also be used. Ensure pipe ends are square and trimmed free of burrs. Examine the grooving tool to ensure that the cutting blade is fully retracted. Insert the pipe into the grooving tool. Set the grooving blade at the half depth position and rotate the tool in a counterclockwise direction. After one complete turn, set the blade at the full depth position and again rotate the tool one full turn counterclockwise. Fully retract the blade and remove the tool from the pipe. A shallow groove has been formed around the pipe. The 3 inch and 4 inch grooving tools are designed for two handed use. The 1.5 and, and 2 inch grooving tools, as shown here, are designed for single handed use. Any material left as a feather edge in the groove should be removed. Care should be taken not to damage the square edge of the groove, particularly at the edge near the spigot end of the pipe, as this is the primary sealing surface. Feathered or rounded edges may indicate a worn tool and possible leakage. Make sure the groove shoulders are sharp. Place the nut onto the pipe with the threaded side to the spigot end of the pipe. Take the yellow elastic olive, stretch it and pull it over the pipe with the thick edge first and the taper pointing to the spigot end of the pipe. Slide it down the pipe and onto the groove. Once on the groove, work it a bit to make sure that the rib of the underside of the elastic olive engages the full circumference of the groove. As seen here, the yellow elastic olive for 1.5 inch and 2 inch fittings are smaller in width with no additional sleeve. Apply an IPEX recommended non-hydrocarbon based lubricant to both the thread and the elastic olive. Then push the pipe squarely into the fitting. The lubrication permits easy take up of the nuts and allows the pipe with the elastic olive to glide smoothly into position against the fitting sealing area. Hand tighten the nut, then tighten one quarter to one half turn using the spanner wrench. Repeat the mechanical joint assembly procedures for the opposite side of the joint. Once complete, the joint is ready for testing. For installation and testing procedures, please refer to the Acid Waste Piping Systems Industrial Technical Manual or contact IPEX directly.